welcome back lads to some more K-Tide Denju Telefang aka fake Pokemon Diamond aka power version. Well that last thing was pretty unnecessary. We will be finishing up whatever lake this was I don't remember. Um, we will see a few boss battles this time around but it's mostly the same so not really that worth showing all of it. So basically this monster, or it's one of the... F there's four boss battles and three of them are the same. And this is the first of the three that there is. Don't know how that's going to sound to you, but that's it really. Now he's very hostile towards you, so... Not good. Either way, Barata is pretty close to its original name, it only needs an H at the end. Other than that, speed is its only utility. It has no other purpose. Well, besides giving me a level, but that's it. What you saw there, is fire is a group of an attack called Denma attacks. I will be explaining a little more about it this time, um, and my only reason for doing that is because I got an attack, so yeah. Other than that, I really wouldn't want to explain it uh, this early at least, so... But they become more into quit now, so... or into kit. So we will not be able to move through here for quite some time actually. I don't know if we ever move through there. Gurlin was called Kirorin. It's the evolved form of Gumi, and it just plain sucks. There's nothing else to it. Lamiterra was called Wormt Wormiterala, and like Varata, speed it is its only utility. So about the attacks, um, like in Pokemon, these monsters have two sets of defense. Regular defense and Denma defense. Obviously, a high Denma defense means that you can resist a lot of damage from Denma attacks. However, as you can see here, you need to charge for quite some time before being able to use it. And all that for so little. Now, given the Cryptorite has terrible, the terrible. In my attack, so that's just the way it is. <laughs> there, you will not be seeing me doing it any of, for any other reason, really, really, because it's much more versatile in attack. I think it has twice the attack of what it has in Denma attack, so that's what you want to go for with this one. Girling being a blob in my way, and now for the second boss. And I figured since these battles are the same, there's really no difference, there's really no reason in showing them. Now I didn't understand the dialogue here, and it's not really that much clearer in Japanese, or at least not to me, so... I'm not sure if it's just a playful someone who's being a liar or whatever. And this one is just being confused, so... <laughs> There's nothing else to that. Who we're going to meet here on the island is apparently the master of this whole training fortress or something. They always they keep talking about master of the fortress and bleh, I don't know. <laughs> Either way. I was a little confused here, but now is actually when you you're going to meet the master of the woods, so aside from being bothered constantly, you need to head a specific way. Now I made the wrong turn here and thankfully realized that. So I decided to move backwards. Because that's it really. So this is the master of the fortress. Um Forest. Bleh. That's a big difference between those two. Um, 
this this boss is actually effective against you, so you might want to use another monster just for safety measures. However, I couldn't trust it if that was the case or not, so... Anyways, Banky Paul was called Pankoru, and speed and attack is its only utility, so... But you can probably notice that it has some key concepts from Norriwoods, and that's because it's the evolved form of the evolved form of Norriwoods. And here you can see how useless Skirlin really is. Funny thing though, Banky Paul is actually classified as a demon, didn't you? That's quite interesting. <laughs> so, you destroy this one, and you apparently want to make friends with him. Yeah, this is just a completely gripping storyline. Either way, there's a purpose to this, as it will be useful for the upcoming um, upcoming set of stuff we need to do. So, first of all, we will be able to now pull and lift objects and, well, push as well. Certain things can only be lifted and then thrown, and only certain things can actually be pushed. Actually, we can't pull anything, we can only push them. <laughs> Uh, terrible. Very bad. And so we reached the biggest lake, Babalona Lake. See you guys next time. Peace out.